To give you some perspective on just how quickly the virus is spreading, take a look at the numbers. In just one week, South Dakota has gone from 108 cases of COVID-19 to 320 cases. That is an increase of nearly 200 percent. A majority of those cases are in the Sioux Falls area. 192 people in Minnehaha and Lincoln counties have tested positive. And today, the state confirmed at least six South Dakotans have died of the virus. Nearly 100 people have recovered. As COVID-19 continues to spread, it starts impacting people you know. And it's happening right now with our very own Matt Holson and his family. Matt's brother Ben is a Washington High School grad and former Sioux Falls radio broadcaster. Ben, who now lives in the Minneapolis area, came down with symptoms this weekend and is now quarantined away from his wife and two-month-old baby by doctor's orders. Hello, Lands Matt Holson checked in with his brother via video chat. This past weekend, my brother Ben wasn't feeling well. He had all the symptoms associated with COVID-19 from a fever to shallow breathing, low oxygen levels and more. Finally, on Sunday night, he couldn't take it anymore. Our mom and my wife were trying to get me to go to the doctor and I was, no, I didn't want to do that because I know what kind of craziness that would unfold. And After a virtual visit with a health care provider, he was urged to go to Alina West Health Urgent Care in Plymouth, Minnesota. I have uh, chest tightness. It feels like there's just like a semi parked on my chest. Um, there are times where I'm just gasping for air and almost having an anxiety attack because I can't breathe. Despite all that, he couldn't get tested. Ben was told the test is most accurate between days four and seven of the illness and was on day two and didn't require hospitalization. So they sent him home and told him to stay on a different floor from wife Karen and daughter Kennedy for 14 days. I'm quarantined. I'm, uh, they said that I'm uh, an assumed positive. So I'm down in the basement and I, I have no contact with my daughter. Say, Daddy, you're my favorite. Uh, just holding my baby would be nice. You're my favorite. Feeding her a bottle. Um, I love helping, you so I, I can hear her cry through the I love ceiling. So and it's the worst thing because I can't soothe her. And my wife is trying to do 900 things to keep this house and family running smoothly. Can you say, I love you, Daddy? The Minneapolis radio broadcaster says Tylenol has been a great help through all this. He's hoping to find a way to get back on air sometime this week as he starts getting better. I am a little worried, um, but I think, you know, my wife is in the medical field and I've got a lot of people praying for me that you know, I have, I have um, a good feeling that you know, I'll come through this, but if I have a really hard time breathing, they told me that I need to go back to the hospital. In the meantime, he'll keep sweating it out in his basement. Matt Holson, Kelloland News. Well, Ben, if you're watching this online, we wish you the best. Ben says that he's not sure how he got sick. He was still going inside the grocery store occasionally and recently had to go to the post office to mail some masks to some vulnerable family members. He urges everyone to take the proper precautions and stay home if you can.